Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video I have some really great news. Unity, the team behind Unity 3D, have released the first Linux editor build. This means you can run the build now on Linux. You don't have to run it on Windows anymore or OS X, you can now run the IDE on Ubuntu or other Linux distributions. So they do note that the main distribution supported is Ubuntu, but they do provide an agnostic, a <laughs> platform agnostic installer. I'm not sure about this, I haven't tried this, but I have tried the .dev package. Now if you're new to Linux and you're using Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative, you want to click this first link right here, all right, official 64-bit.dev package. Once it's downloaded, wherever you've downloaded it, go to that location. For me, it's on the desktop. You double click it, all right, it's going to go open up in the Ubuntu Software Center, all right, give it a couple of seconds. Once it's here, you want to click the install button here. I've already installed mine, which is why the words are not the same. After you click install, it'll ask for your password. Once it's done, you can go ahead and close the Ubuntu Software Center, open up the Ubuntu Dash and type Unity, and this is the Unity editor right here. Now this is pretty amazing. I did not think they would have this released this soon. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project, and we're just going to try out the IDE and see how it is. I've already logged in. Now, this means that Unity team has officially one-upped the Unreal team because they still do not have a proper Linux installer you have to compile things and that's really hit or miss for quite a number of folks on Linux so the Unity team has really jumped pace here so let's see a Linux project I'm just gonna leave it there home is my alien yep, that's fine 3d create project now I'm gonna test a couple of things here overall I am recording at 60 frames per second I hope that will show in the video properly or not. Now this is the free version. I do not have a professional account just yet. So let's check the version info first under about Ubuntu. Hey, about Ubuntu. <laughs> about Unity. Now that there's two Unities in Ubuntu, I'm a bit confused in my head. We're running 5.1 personal, all right. Um, physics, NVIDIA. Yep, yep. All the good stuff. It's all there. So I'm going to just start seeing if I can pull in some assets. So this is the 3D view right here, pretty darn sweet. I want to import a package. No, I want to import a new asset. Uh, wait, where is it? All right, right off the bat, it does seem that I do not have the cross-platform controller packages or the third-person, first-person controller packages. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the asset store here. Let's test this out. All right, so it started up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can search for Unity 5. I believe there is a package on the store which I can utilize. All right, so I'm going to go ahead to Unity Essentials. Now I want to grab the assets, the standard assets, but I want to make sure I grab the ones for Unity 5. Now I remember last time grabbing the ones that were accidentally for number 4 and they don't work that well with number 5. I think this is for Unity 5. Let me just go ahead and double check that. Yes, it has been submitted using Unity 5, so I'm going to go ahead and download this. Alright, so we're nearing the end of the download here. As you can see in this package, it has the first-person character controller and the third-person character controller, which is the main things that I want to use here just to showcase a couple of examples. They also have cross-platform input, which is really, really useful when you want to quick prototype certain uh, game designs. Alright, looks like it's gone gray for a bit here. It might be due to the hard drive writing. Let's give this a couple of seconds. All right, that was pretty quick. Importing com all right, complete project. I would like to import. That's fine. Let's give it a couple more seconds. Seems to be a bit slow on the reading and writing side. I can't import everything because I'm just going for a quick test run here. Pretty neat. Look at that. It's using the native UI of Ubuntu here. Pretty darn sweet. All right, that took surprisingly a lot longer than I would have expected. But then again, this is the first release whatsoever. And the fact that everything is running okay is pretty much a good thing. I'm just going to go ahead and close this for now. So we've got a couple of the things set up here. So we know that the asset store works right off the bat. And it remembers my login from previously. So which is that's pretty much awesome. Let me just go ahead and see if I can add some terrain here. Uh, yep, terrain. I want to see if I can add some grass a bit later on just to see how heavy things get. So far on my side, things look good. Let me just add some texture to that ground right there. Kind of not cool the way it is. Let me just add some grass colors. Okay, so I think it just did it. Oh, nope, it just disappeared. Kind of peculiar. Oh, disappeared again. So it's kind of buggy there. I'm not going to move it. This time I'm just going to scroll through it. 
So it does look like it's still a bit buggy here and there, but it is totally fine because they're just tagging out with this. Alright, so I've got the ground textures set up. I'm going to delete the main camera, but before I do that, I'm going to drag the game scene to the side here. Alright, so the game scene is what you'd see when you're actually running the game. Now, if you note that I delete the main camera, nothing appears there because we don't have a camera anymore in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in the first person prefab, which is this guy right here. Let's see, where should I drop it? Okay, this is definitely supposed to be showing something right now, but it isn't. So that's kind of bugged out right there. Let me see if I press F, I should zoom in onto it. Alright, that still works. So for whatever reason just now it wasn't showcasing itself, but now it is, which is a good thing. Okay, so it's on the ground there. Now if I would go ahead and click play, I should be able to control this right off the bat. It doesn't seem to be picking up my mouse input, which is a bit problematic there. It should be able to detect my mouse right off the bat, but it does not. Okay, so kind of buggy there. Let's see if I drag this further down, bring that further right. Let me try and play it one more time, just give it a shot. Nope, it does look like the mouse input is still a problem, but keyboard input is detected immediately and I can move around. So I'm going to try the third person controller this time around. Let's drag this guy in and once again we don't see it in the scene for whatever reason, but once I drop it then it magically appears. Now I'm going to hit play. Oh, did I drag in a first person? Yeah, I did. My bad. Let me go ahead and drag in a third person controller, which is here. Let me go to prefabs. Let me grab this. A bit slow there. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Now if I hit play, does it have a camera attached to it? It does not seem to have a camera attached to it, which is very peculiar. But as you can see, I am controlling it with my keyboard but I see nothing in the game scene let's see if I can go ahead and add a camera to him and see if that changes anything okay let's see where is the camera looking right now I want to bring it to the left a bit let me just bring it back down the z-axis a bit alright let's see will it follow the cat player around it should oh it just fell right through the ground that is not supposed to happen alright so I seem to have noticed something peculiar here in the game scene right now where I've put my camera, you can see a third person character right here. But the actual third person controller is not even on the terrain. Which is really, really, really peculiar. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the camera. Set its positions back to zero, 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 which should mean it gets put at the third person controller. This time I'm going to move the third person controller itself, drag it up a bit. Let's readjust that camera once more, but this time based on this model. So hitting start. So now the camera should be following my player, which is good. Heading to the right, heading to the left, moving forward, moving back. Alright, there we go. The third person controller does work and you can adjust the camera if you want. But I believe there's another version of him on the terrain which shouldn't exist which is at least what I was seeing just now, but I can't seem to identify why that was happening. So there definitely seems to be some peculiar bugs happening around here that I can't confirm what what the causes are. But we've got the third person character working with the camera, which is pretty darn neat. Let me just adjust this camera a little bit for the fun of it. I'm going to aim it further down. There we go, so we have a fuller body preview. Now, I'm not sure if this character is supposed to be uh, textured. I think he is. Jumping works. Then again, I haven't tried the third person controller on the Windows side for a long time either. I usually just use the first person. Alright, so we got that working. Let me see if I can add some grass. I just want to see what happens to the performance. Does it, does it really struggle or not? That's all I want to know. So I'm going to add a texture here. Let's hope it doesn't crash on me. Uh, grass. There we go. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to add. Now where is my... Okay, what happened there? Oh, there we go. So, oh, that's way too much grass. I'm going to reduce the brush, not the brush size, but the strength. Okay, that should be just nice. Oh my goodness, it is way too sensitive. All I'm doing is pressing just a little bit. But that's okay, I guess. Now let's see if we can add some trees as well. I just want to see if I can crash this or if it just lasts pretty well. 
Not sure if I have any tree objects in the standard assets. No, I do not, sadly. So let's just go ahead and run this. Okay. For some reason, A makes him run forward. Oh, okay. It looks like the controls are predefined in the direction of A. Makes him head into the direction of what looks to be negative X, I think. D is positive X. W makes him move to positive Z. And S makes him move to negative Z. Okay, interesting enough. Grass is all there. You can see the air is... Well, you can see the grass is animating. If I can just get used to the controls. So he's in the thick of it. Let me go ahead and bring this down to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Maximize on play. Let's see what happens when I do that. Hoo la la, look at that beauty. Look at that. It works. A bit buggy, but it works. Alright, one last thing I'm just going to try out just for the fun of it. I want to see if I can add a UI canvas, which is what would usually be used for buttons now and things like health bars and such. So I'm going to go to game object, 2D object. No, not 2D object. UI canvas. Give that a couple of seconds or not. Nope, it did not add anything there. Let me just try that one more time. Canvas. Okay, this time it worked. Jolly, jolly good. Now I want to change my view on this. I'm going to change it to orthographic. Nothing yet in the scene. I'm going to add a, mm, what is it? A slider, I think it is. A slider. I'm going to make this green just for the fun of it. Make it look something like a health bar. Oops, that is the handle. I don't care about the handle. I want to give the main body the color. Let's undo that. In fact, I want to remove the handle altogether. So the fill area's color is going to be green. Okay, let's make that green. Beautiful. I'm going to remove the handle altogether. I'm just going to hide this part right there. The fill area, I'm going to increase its size. Alright, let's move that to the right just a bit. Beautiful. By no means am I a Unity professional or anything like that, but I have some experience in it, so it's a little bit of fun here just messing around. The fact that I can do so much with this right now is pretty darn awesome. That begs the question, can I save? I'm going to create a new folder, call this Scenes. Let me save this as Linux Scenes, just for the fun of it. Alright, looks like I can save. Pretty darn sweet. And you can see that's the UI right there. Let's see what happens when I press play. So the UI is small there, it doesn't fit to the resolution that I want, the aspect ratio. So I want to keep this permanently up there. I need to change the, what they refer to as the, uh, I forget what these rectangle holders are. But basically this is what determines the position of the UI object in the canvas. I'm finding a lack of words here. So it's up at the position where I want it to be, but oh my lord, is it not at the length I want. So let's bring that down. See, does that make a change? Yes, it does. So now it puts it up there. So I could add a couple more things, but basically what we're seeing here is that the game works. I want to try building it, but before I build it, I want to provide myself a way to exit the game. So I'm just going to quick create a quick button here. Create that button right there. I'm going to drag it down here. Now I believe I can position it. I'm going to go ahead and position it just like that. Just keep it centered. Now give the button a title. I'm going to call this exit. Jolly good, jolly good. Exit. Now I want to add script function. This is where we're just going to do a slight scripting. Nothing special. I just want to call application.quit I believe it's called. Alright, so typing in C-sharp, I'll get a new script. This is exactly what I want. I don't want to call it C-sharp, though. I'm going to call this exit button just for the fun of it. Create an ad. Now I want to see, does this open up in Mono Develop or what? Double-clicking it, it should open up in some sort of text editor. Oh my goodness, the motorcyclists there are so abundant tonight. Can't get a moment without them running around. Now double-clicking, it doesn't seem to open it. What if I click edit script? Is there even an... A script editor with this? That is a good question. Let me check the preferences. 
external tools. It says it has mono developed, but it does not seem to be opening. Good question if I type mono develop here. Yes, it's there. If I open it up, does anything appear whatsoever? Okie dokie, so it looks like mono develop won't start up for whatever reason. So I'm just going to go open containing folder and see if I can edit this with a text editor of my choosing, which will be get it since mono develop is not opening. So that's pretty bugged. So it looks like the one of the very important features is not working, at least in my test case. So I don't need these functions. I'm just going to go ahead and do a void on button press function here. I'm going to have it call get called. It should be public because I want the button to be able to call this application dot quit. I think it is. Let me check the documentation because the mono develops not working. So I can't remember the exact name of the function. All right. looks like that. That is the correct thing. I want to do that application dot quit. So I'm going to go ahead and close. Get it. Mono develop still hasn't opened up. I gave it a couple more seconds to see if it would start up. It hasn't. So scripting looks like we still have a problem with mono develop. And to be totally honest, I know people hate Visual Studio on Linux, but I am serious when I say that Visual Studio 2013 is an amazing piece of software for scripting in Unity. Once I started using it, I can't I can't go back to Mono Develop anymore. So I hope we have something like that come soon to Linux. Uh, edit. Okay, I want to go ahead and call. It's going to be on this button itself. I'm going to call the on button the one that I made just now there it is on button press so when that gets pressed it should exit the game so I'm gonna save this is the last thing I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go ahead and build and run so I'm gonna build a Linux version of this and I want to set it to the desktop desktop test build one so hopefully I've covered enough ground here so that you can get an idea of how this works right now on Ubuntu where we're at with this editor right now in total looks like you can do pretty much everything but you should expect peculiarities and bugs like just now when I tried to add grass there's a few peculiarities there with the uh, UI closing itself automatically I can't get you know, you, know, you know I can't get mono develop up and running so I've gone ahead and built this it is on the desktop right here I do not see the folder now oh, there we go so Unity, when it builds something, it always comes with two things. We have the executable and we have the folder for the assets, which are usually encrypted, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this. Fantastic, suits me just fine. I'm going to go by 1600 by 900. Windowed, I do not want to test full screen just yet in case it crashes the video. Oh, look at that. And oh my God, it's smooth. All right, back in Unity 4, when it first got released, I did a lot of testing for... Uh, running my builds on Ubuntu and performance was real crap but this this is a completely different cupcake so my button is kinda ugly there because I haven't done the rect transform properly but that's okay I just wanna go ahead and see if I press it yes it exits so it works this is freaking amazing alright that's it for this video guys I was just do doing a quick couple of tests here so we know it's bugged in a couple places but the asset store works which is very important for developers who don't have any artists on their team uh, using the assets work, using the asset store works, the version is 5.1, installing works just fine. Mono develop doesn't seem to work yet, even though it is included, it won't start up on my system and I do not know why, but I was able to use get it for the scripting there. Performance is pretty good, I'm going to see in the end what the video looks like, I'm recording at 60 FPS right now, so it's a strain on my system as well. Building works just fine. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, apologies for any mistakes that I may have made and thank you for watching.